Oh, hey, fellas. Hey. Good evening. <clears throat> Happy okay. Easter. Yeah. It's best Easter ever. <laughs> I'm trying to get. <clears throat> I did have a couple of eggs today to celebrate. Keep like some colored, normal stuff. Colored eggs? No, we don't use that term anymore, Greg. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> They're brown eggs. <laughs> uh, uh. Uh, yeah, no, I just boiled a couple. <clears throat> I don't like to be, de- I don't like to celebrate holidays, but I also don't like to be denied. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I spent some time thinking about eggs today because I want to start eating more eggs because they're low calorie, high protein, but I hate eggs. So I was thinking I've never tried a pickled egg. Uh, so I, what? I, yeah, pickled eggs. Because I like <laughs> pickled pickles. Yeah. I like pickles. I like pickled like cauliflower and stuff like that. So maybe I'd like a pickled egg. So I, I learned some recipes today. I'm going to try it. Yeah, maybe I found... Becker, uh, doesn't Becker have some pretty good deviled eggs at the... Uh... <laughs> Bird cage I used to have the deviled eggs there. Yeah, those were the what the fuck? They're, yeah, they were in the bird. The birdhouse had a recipe, and the, the Tracy what was the, the pickled eggs at the birdhouse. What was the, the mustard, the oil of mustard, I think, was the key ingredient. Yeah. You had to buy it from a pharmacy, like in like Wyoming or something. I mean, is it in, <laughs> just to? I mean, to to. They don't like you putting liquids in the mail anyway, but could you imagine something like oil of mustard? <laughs> if that thing, oh. <laughs> but that was the stuff that you couldn't, I mean, the pickles. Yeah. He had pickled eggs, he had pickles. Chad, why don't you like eggs? Who doesn't like gross. eggs? I don't know that I've ever, really? What do you mean? It smells and tastes like, like a boiled egg tastes like a rubber fart. <laughs> if I had to describe it, like the first, if somebody was like, "Eat this," what does it taste like? I'd be like, "It tastes like a rubber fart." <laughs> I, I, like, I, I like, like, somebody, like if somebody blasted into a condom. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, if I hold this down there. I got one coming. I, I wasn't thinking Tied of off. that kind of rubber because I don't know what that rubber yeah. tastes like, but it might taste like other rubber, I guess. But like, like if you you fart into a condom and then you leave it for a, a long enough gestation period for whatever that fart is to become solid. Yeah. All right. Hey, I don't know that I've ever met anyone that didn't like. I mean, I know people that don't eat eggs, but I don't know that I've ever met or people that are allergic to eggs. Allergic. I thought they were gross. I think you're up first there. Interesting. It's, it's we don't eat the menstruation of any other animal. That's the only animal that we oh, eat. Here the we go, of. Captain Ooh, Vegan over gross. here. Hey, you're just it's eating not that I'm against it morally. It's gross. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know, but that's what all the vegans always. That's another vegany thing to say. That that's what I get accused of saying, even though I'm I've never claimed oh. to be a vegan, never been a vegan, but people think that's my argument sometimes. <clears throat> when I had the backyard chickens. Uh, they, I had a thing right outside the kitchen window, their nest or whatever. And when there was a brooder, I didn't care for her. But there was another one who'd come up and then she'd start her cackling and stuff. And then I would, I would see that she was getting ready to hump one out. So then I would start boiling water. And uh, But it is weird, you know, like an animal's out there uh, squeezing something out and I eat it immediately. You know, 10 minutes later, I'm eating out, her. Out of what, its ass. But I kind of, yeah, same area. Well, I don't Chad, know. Say, Everything comes out of the same hole on yeah. them. Oh, Chad, really? Just... Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Wait, 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 you about... had chickens? Wait, wait, you, had never, chickens. <laughs> you never, never noticed that there was chicken shit all over your fresh eggs? Well, I thought that was just a, you know, bathroom mishap. Was... They didn't clean up after. I didn't realize they were coming out. I didn't know they were out the same hole. That's fucking awful. <laughs> no wonder they have a shell. It just come out <laughs> shit like a fucking aborted fetus with shit. <laughs> that must must be what walking uh, on eggshells. There's a fine line, fine line between eating an egg and eating shit. <laughs> I just like the picture of Andy uh, on his backyard chicken coop, just completely grossed out at every every step of the turn. You know. Yeah, like, oh, ew, oh, oh. No, another one? Oh, he's so disappointed every time he finds he's got eggs. I usually bond no- with animals, but fuck, those four were just like, yeah, damn, it's like four 
Like if you're in a PE class or something, like four fucking scumbags that you just don't get along with, that's what they were. Everywhere I went in the backyard, they're hanging out. Like, let's do something. I don't want to be your, you know, I, I usually just, I like squirrels. I like ducks. I like almost everything. And I took these chickens in, named them, and and they were like <laughs> fucking, <ugh. laughs> What did you name your chickens? Uh, there was Grace. Well, the, you heard the, the, the first batch I murdered or died yeah. in root. And then I named, let's see, Grace, Thunder, uh, Kung Pao. Uh, I forget. <laughs> One of them died, you know, too soon to even really name. <laughs> yeah, I can call him George. Grace, Thunder, and Kung Pao. Yeah, which one? You it, think I, I named? I don't. I don't remember the name. <laughs> I don't remember the if they had names. I'm sure they had names. But once when my kids were little, uh, uh, my mom came to visit, and she thought it would be a great idea to buy them all a baby chick that had been dyed a different color. Wow. So, uh, and I the lived Easter in, tradition. I lived in town. We I lived on an acre, but it was like uh, there was other houses right next to you. You weren't allowed to have chickens. And uh, after a little bit, they were just running around the yard. And after a little while, they started all crowing. They were all four roosters. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, uh huh. I, I was like, fuck, I can't have these. So I told uh, I, I told everybody, Jenny and the kids, and I said, look, we can't have them here. They can't be here. We're gonna get in trouble. So I'm gonna take them down to the river and let them be free range chickens, and they're gonna live free. And mm -hmm. everybody's like, yeah, okay, that's a good idea. I'm going to go set them free. And then all of a sudden, Jenny goes, wait, if you set them free at the river, won't coyotes just eat them? And I'm like, God damn it. I, was, <laughs> I almost had the solution to this problem, and you ruined it. But, but also, I mean, maybe not. Maybe uh, these four chickens will be the first chickens to evolve some sort of strategy that will make them a menace out in the wild. Who knows? They were bright white. That should you help. You wanted them to experience freedom and liberty, but to have none of the dangers. <laughs> well, when that, when, right. that, when that plan to get rid of the roosters failed, I came up with a new one, which is I grew up around chickens, and my grandpa would uh, uh, slaughter chickens, you know, and you just grab them by the head and just whip them real hard and their heads pop right off and then they flop around and bleed out. So I thought, well, I'll, I'll show my kids, you know, where chicken comes from and we'll cook up these chickens. So I take it and I whip it and get the first one and it's flopping around. And my youngest son was six, I think at the time. And he's like, I want to do my chicken, dad. I want to do my chicken. <laughs> I'm like, all right, you gotta, you gotta hit, whip it hard. You gotta be, you know, get with it. He grabbed that chicken and started swinging it around. Its neck got about two feet long. It was squawking like I had to grab it from him and kill it. And then uh, it turned out there wasn't enough meat on the chickens. They were too young anyway. So I, I just killed chickens in the yard with my kids for no reason. <laughs> what, what I find interesting is that, Chad, you, you come from taking a chicken, swinging it around till its head snaps off, then letting it writhe around on the ground, bleeding everywhere. Of a six but, you look, but you look at an egg and you're like, that's yeah. too gross. That's too it, gross for it me. It doesn't smell not, like a just... fart. I can't eat food that smells like a fart. I can't <laughs> oh, But Jesus, man. I fucking grew up on the slaughterhouse floor, but ew. I, and, and oh, I will eat, no. I mean, ew. I eat eggs. So, I mean, I when I had uh, chickens in the backyard here, some of them would have blood in them because, you know, and you yeah. fucking sip that part out and eat them. But I don't like the it. it. So, sounds like you're lucky your boy didn't grow up to be a, a chicken geek. <laughs> There's really no place for a chicken geek anymore. So you, if your kid did like Ozzy Osbourne the head off of that thing, you'd have to say, nah, no, there's no no future in it anymore. Yeah, that shit that shit doesn't it, fly in 2021. It also, it also sounds like your kid may have inadvertently invented swans. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that works. Maybe that's what happens. Uh, yeah. Maybe those are the guys that get away. You know. You beat the ugly out of a chicken, you got yourself a, squaw, a swan. <laughs>